AAHS here. Fellas, you have to be careful. When a girl tell you come tear this ass up, you gotta be careful. You gotta question, is she trying to kill me? Or is she trying to rob me? This story we're about to dig into, this this guy, he jumped. She, she told him come tear this ass up. He jumped. He ran over there. And now he is dead. He was chasing ass. And now he is dead. I know a lot of folks gonna say, Oh, you just mad because you can't get her. You just mad because you can't get her. I'm going to get mine. I'm going to get mine. Okay, go get yours. You'll be dead. Go and get yours. You'll be dead. After you read this article, you'll say, I said, I listened to AHS. I said, I listened to his ass. He had good advice. Good afternoon, Emily. Earlier today in Superior Court, 21-year-old Julia Enright pleaded not guilty to violently killing her former classmate and friend, Brandon Chickless. <laughs> Paul Chicklets, the father of the victim, Brandon Chicklets, visibly upset at the hearing today, being consoled. Then making what appears to be some sort of throat slash gesture. It's not clear to whom. What we do know are the facts, as the DA's office believes them to be true. That Chicklets' friend and former classmate, Julia Enright, murdered him. By the New Hampshire medical examiner, uh, he ruled that the death was a homicide and that the victim had suffered multiple stab wounds. Authorities say the 20-year-old Chicklis, who was living in Westminster at the time of his death, was last seen on June 23rd. Analysis of his cell phone route um, indicated that he had last been at 171 Packard Hill Road in Ashburnham. That is the residence of the defendant in this case. Chicklis' body was discovered weeks later by a jogger on the side of Route 119 in Ridge, New Hampshire. There's niggas in this article from People Magazine. Dominatrix, she lured man to a treehouse and fatally stabbed him. Then wrote she was turned on. Some woke, some weird folks out there, folks. And this is not even a Florida story. This is not a Florida story. Some weird folks out there. Julia Enright, 24, was accused of fatally stabbing Brandon Chicklet, 20, in a treehouse near her Massachusetts home on June 23, 2018. Look at this picture. If I was on the juror, soon the trial started, and she come to the courtroom like that, I would stand up and say she's guilty. The trial should be over right at this point. They can keep me on the trial. I'm gonna stand up. And I'm gonna say she's guilty. A chick look like this. I'm gonna say she's guilty. She's guilty, 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 guilty. Come to the courtroom looking like that. A Massachusetts woman was found guilty this week of second degree murder in the killing of her former classmate. What's going on with folks going to their classmate this week? There's some crazy stuff going out there. Be careful, school kids. Be careful. Some crazy folks are out there. Julia Enright, 24, was accused of fatally stabbing Brandon Chicklet, 20. The myth stabbed a young one. The cougar stabbed a young one. Four-year age difference, but it's a big age gap, 24 to 20, in a treehouse near her Ashburnham home on June 23, 2018. After the murder, she wrapped his body in a blue top and then dumped it along a highway in New Hampshire like he was roadkill. Just threw his ass out and went about her business. Look at this chick, man. She looked like that type of person that just dump a body on the road and go about her business. During the trial, prosecutor argued that Enright a phlebotomist, dominatrix, and Marilyn Manson fan that explains a lot, was obsessed with grave robbing, death, and blood. Folks, if this chick draw your blood, be thankful you're still alive. Be thankful. She was obsessed with death and blood and wrote about her fascination in the journal entries, some of which were read in court. Why do all crazy people write in journals? I don't know, man. Anybody else with, with a journal? First thing that comes to mind, are they crazy? Will they try to kill me in the future? I just have an insatiable curiosity to kill a person. Read one journal entry according to CBS4 Boston. If I was on the jury, as soon as I heard that, I'm going to stand up. Like I said before, I'm going to stand up and say, guilty. The trial's over. The trial's over. Like Vince caught in the dunk contest, it's over. It's over. Prosecutor argued the killing of Chickless, a former Boy Scout technician, was a gift to her boyfriend. Who the hell want this type of gift? Now you know 
Even Fourth Pride will want this type of gift. Her boyfriend is weird. Weird. It was a form of a present she allegedly wrote on her MacBook five days after the sling. Why the hell MacBook? Why the hell MacBook come up in this? This fool is this man. Adding too much stuff. I did it just. I did it just for him. That was my intention. Jesus, man. Damn. I don't know who the hell was her boyfriend. She also referred to being turned on by the event. Damn. She was. She had all gathered for this stuff. Jesus. Yeah. This. This look. This the guy that died. I, I felt bad for him. He said, "Turn down." This was some ass. He said, "Turn down." This was not the ass. He said, "Went for." He says, "Hey, no way, no how." Prosecutors argue that Ann Wright lured Chickless, who she had once dated in high school, to the treehouse for a sexual encounter. Soon as he told them they're going to the treehouse, the treehouse, he said backed off. And they said she's 24, he 20, so basically he probably like a freshman in high school, and she was like a senior. He dang, he had game, man. He had that crazy, pull, crazy chick pulling game. Yeah. That's not the type of game you want to have. First, assistant district attorney Jeffrey Travers alleged that Enright enjoyed manipulating him by pulling him, pulling him in and then pushing him away. She knew the pullback strategy. She knew the pullback strategy. And that she held a special kind of hatred for him. Before they met up, Enright allegedly told Chickless on Facebook Messenger to keep their meetings a secret and she had a surprise for him. In time, I chick tell you to keep your meeting a secret. Don't go, don't go, don't, don't go, man, don't go. He agreed to keep quiet about the encounter prosecutor said. Jesus, man, you got a question. Why did your chick tell you to keep quiet about your encounter, man? You guys not thinking, folks, thinking, folks. Prosecutor said that around the same time she was messing with Chick Chicklist, she sent her boyfriend a text and re that read, "Do you think we we could add bubbles to a bud blot?" Damn, man, this this stuff getting weird, man. It's not even this not even a Florida story, man. This stuff is getting weird, man. I'm getting creeped out, man. Just reading this stuff. Before Chicklist arrived at the treehouse, she covered the floor with a blue top and a white and a white comforter. Prosecutor said. Once there, she stabbed him multiple times, then enlisted her crazy boyfriend to help her dispose of his of his body. I'm saying crazy. That boyfriend definitely crazy. Crazy weird old boyfriend. Chickless, Chickless body was found almost three three weeks later by a jogger. Damn, three weeks later? Right, majorly decomposed at that point. Prosecutor said Enright tried to cover her track after the murder by Facebook, Facebook messaging him. That same night asking why he didn't show up at their meeting spot. Who the hell gonna believe this crap, man? A good detective gonna go, go see through this right away. <laughs> a good detective gonna, gonna eat that up. A good detective, man. And right, took the stand in her own defense. She's not done that, man. She said to sit ass on the bench, sit this one out. She looked crazy, man. And claimed that she killed Chickless in self-defense after she planned to have sex with him, but changed her mind. He says, oh, oh, oh he, he took advantage of me. Oh, he took advantage of me. D defense, I killed his ass. He just was not stopping, and I pulled the knife out. So she bought it. She had a knife ready to go. And Ryan sent sentencing is scheduled for January 18. Let's lock our ass up for forever. This is one of those. You just lock our ass up forever. And just, and just close the jail with her inside. Yeah, this is one of those those crazy story, man. I, I feel bad. I feel bad for the gentleman that, that died. Yeah, man. Some chicks out there just they, they just crazy, man. They need to be left alone forever. Yo, this your boy AAHS. Like, sub, subscribe to the channel for more articles, interpretation of, of articles like this. Holla at your boy.